This is apple pie and ice cream. What flavor ice cream is this? Vanilla. Vanilla. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Briar's vanilla. Who? Briar's. Briar's vanilla. We have munchkin back home, you know. Mm. <laughs> flavor right. Mm. Uh, what else we have, Louise? Yeah. You got me the dash. Hagen dash. But I never had Brian before. An apple pie. This America. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Sid, mm -hmm. this is a little treat again for your birthday. Mm -hmm. Gary missed out on the dinner last night, but. <laughs> so, what did Gary do in terms of writing you a love letter or something? What did he do? So, I'll read it to you. <clears throat> what was it? What is it really? It's a little poem he found on the internet and he sent it to me after I went to bed last night. Uh -huh. Hoping I would see it first thing this morning when I woke up. But I didn't see it until yes. we were sitting in the gospel meeting and when I looked down at it, I said, oh no, I can't read this right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're coming up in the car and I started reading it. But when I got home, I shared it with Louise. I said, Louise, listen to this little poem that Gary sent me. Happy birthday, my love. You're the castle around my heart. Heart fortress, heart ivory tower, till never do we part. You crossed the moat of my soul, led me to parts unknown, to an isle full of joy, a middle age all on our own. For me, there's nothing between us except warmth, love and laughter you're the dream beyond my walls my object of bliss forever after that is beautiful wow that is beautiful that's what he gave to me okay louise you heard that <laughs> louise you heard that <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me, you have your own party over there. We gave them their privacy. That was really sweet though, Gary. That was really sweet. You ever wrote up you ever wrote a love poem of your own? Yes he did. He wrote really? me a love poem when he first not long after we started going out together. Okay, okay. What is love? But I thought he, he had written this one, you know, Sam? No, I came across this. I said, what boy? I, this one I'm talented. I know she's I a history buff here, so, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, say about that letter that you wrote, that love letter you wrote. He, he wrote me <clears throat> a poem about what is love. You still have it? I still, I, I don't know where we put it. We have it in a box. I should have typed it up and put it in a frame. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, oh, he has it. Hold on. I, sure I hope you can find it. It's more like a sonnet he wrote. Ah. Any luck? Not yet. You yeah, better go and freeze before I find it. Gary, you have it still? Let's search. Hmm. You remember any li any lines out of it? <laughs> Gary? I don't know where that one would be. Oh. <laughs> I have to... S don't quite remember the words. Hey, what to do? Make up one on the spot here now. For records. Make up one on the spot, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here comes the lyrics. Come, let me hear the lyrics, man. <laughs> let me hear the lyrics, man. Let's have it. Here comes the lyrics. <laughs> Make up one day, Gary. Give me two lines at least. Two lines. <laughs> my Ready? dear, my dear, you are sweeter than the ice cream I eat. <laughs> <laughs> you are the apple of my eyes. Don't mind it in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna. You find it? Mm -mm. No. So high and low. It. it just mm. wouldn't flow. You put him on the spot, Lance. He's not going to think now. All right, my friend. Well, thanks a lot for the, the poem that you found. And you so graciously. It's very appropriate, however. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know she's a history buff, so she. Yeah. Right. 
Ok. Uh -huh, it was very appropriate. 